What is the best disaster recovery solution for a small business's server? Well, I'll tell you. When I say solution, I mean having a comprehensive plan that covers all angles. There's more to a DR plan than just having some backup software and running a backup. Your best solution is going to include a local backup device or appliance. Now, this is completely separate from what we talk about when we mention hard drives that can accomplish the following 10 things. It's going to take a complete backup of your, your server on a defined schedule. Now, that means automatically, which means you don't have to do anything to make sure that backup happens on a daily basis. It's going to maintain complete backups for X number of days at your local office separate from your server. So the X number means basically whatever number of days your industry recommends or you're comfortable with or your IT guy is comfortable with. It's going to report to you the success or failure by email or to your office manager or to your IT guy, your technical staff. It's very important that you know whether or not those things are happening on a daily basis and doing successfully. It's going to send copies of your backups off-site to a data center or to another office that you own. And the purpose behind this is in case of fire, flood, or theft, you know you have a full copy someplace that you can utilize. It's going to store an image backup of your hard drives. That way all the little hidden stuff on your hard drives that you don't see will get backed up and make for a quick and complete restore. It's going to store a file and folders backup. So if you just need one file or one folder restored, you can get to those quickly. It's going to allow for the recovery of individual emails or an email folder from the backup. That way, if you lose an email or an email folder gets deleted accidentally or whatever, you can go into a backup and actually get that back. It's going to be able to replace the server temporarily in case of a server problem. Now, let's face it, equipment is more reliable today than it was in the past, but it still isn't perfect. So the ability to use that to bring your server up temporarily while you're getting the actual server fixed is a very big thing. It'll let you test the backups that are off-site so that you know that they are restorable, that they actually will work. Also, for the off-site copies, it's going to let you virtually spin those up in the cloud so that if the fire, flood, or theft happens, your office is damaged or destroyed, you'll be able to bring your business up and have it operate while you get your premises and your on-site equipment taken care of. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this question and answer video about an aspect of data protection. Now, if you follow the link below, you'll discover more frequently asked question videos and documentation about the best way to back up and protect your data. Oh, if you already happen to be there, stay and learn. Thanks again.